So you'd think, okay, so I've been sent off and you'd think that was it. And then I kicked the referee's door in and smashed his room to bits. Oh. I had to go to yeah. anger management for um, a headbutt as well. Did you? Yeah. Am I yeah. the only one that's not been to anger management? I'm imagining you have. <laughs> yeah. he, he bought the court. How many times has Roy sent off? Do we have any stats on this? He was stood over me when I'd done my cruciate, which was a bad injury, and he was saying some nasty things when I was injured. And I just thought, listen, we'll, we'll obviously we'll meet again, you know? It's Howler. For me, yeah. No, I don't, actually, that's a good point. I don't think that is a Howler. We're, we're talking about... That's not Howler. A minimum of contact for penalties. And this man's got two hands in his... I'm going to walk off, bro. Welcome to another episode of Stick to Football, brought to you by Skybet. And this week, I'm joined by Roy Keane, Ian Wright and Jill Scott. Before we start, we had a very special moment at the end of last week, didn't we? Uh, Ian's 60th birthday. So we thought in true overlap style, we'd bring in a nice little cake. No way. Oh. Seriously? Are you yeah. serious? <laughs> oh. We could have lit the candles. Thank you very much, everybody. This, well done. This is my ninth. This is my 10th cake of the week. You don't look 60. You're performing very, very young for your age. I don't know. Maybe it's because I, I wasn't... I was on a treadmill of that football stuff till I was 22, you know what I mean? I was just living life and just being, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know, you know what I mean? I do, I do my gym stuff. I eat well, you know what I mean? I, I don't good. know, I, I feel good. My mum, my mum lived till, what, 94? My dad was 89. It looked good. good. I mean, so, I don't know if I want to go that long, if I'm going to be totally honest, but... <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be fit, gal. I just want to be fit. I don't want to be on the television doing the stuff. And then people say, was he an ex-footballer? Look at the size of it. I don't want to be that guy. You know what I mean? I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that still looks relevant and looks like he can still a bit hold. Of pride, don't you? Yeah, pride, yeah, yeah, yeah. With your leather beret and your suede jacket. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm, just, I'm, just be, I'm just doing it, you know, gal. You get to that stage, it's very emotional. It's very emotional when you get there because you're doing a, I was doing a lot of reflecting. And, um, you know, you're thinking a lot, a lot of stuff and so many close shaves in my life and things that I've done and things that I've done right, things that I've done wrong. And then you get to this stage and you're getting a lot of love from people. You kind of feel, it gets, it, it's very emotional. I felt, I felt good. I, did, I felt good. Because when you're younger, you think 60's old, mm. but then I look at you now and think, that is not, it's not old, is it? It's not, you know, there's people, of course it's not, it's, it's how you feel. I feel great. I want kids, I want people to be 30 and that and look at me and say, if, if that's 60, that's what I want to look like. That's what you want people to be. You know I mean, when I was younger, 60 looked 60, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so that's what it is. It's just a time now. We're all living long, guys. Everybody's got to eat healthier. Everybody's got to, you know what I mean, live right. And you can do it, man. I'm, I'm loving it. It's true. It doesn't crack. I can't stop. The black don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you talk about eating well. Mm. But last night, I hear you went round to Royce for some Irish stew. Yes. It's a regular occurrence, isn't it? Did you well, it about is. that? We never get an invite, do we? He didn't get an invite. I didn't. <laughs> Just came See, it's funny because we have to clear that because people think <coughs> people think I said, well, what's Roy going to do? The fact is, of course, Roy knows I'm going to come, <laughs> but I'm not not going to come. He's not going to say you can't come in. You know what I mean? Especially the missus is make, making stew now. So when I'm coming up here, I'm coming into his manor. I'm coming into his area. <laughs> I'm I kind of paying respect and showing love. Go there, have something to eat, watch some football, then I can go to bed without having to. Buy food at the hotel. <laughs> I could go to the Hotel Roy. <laughs> no, it's just like, it's just nice, you know what I mean, to come up and, you know, just, you know, I'm not going to drive past his house. You know what I mean? At some stage, him and the missus behind it, say, hey, here he is again. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> But, like, I'm not going to not go, you know what I mean? Because he's going to be hospitable, because he's, yeah. he's Irish as well. That's what they do. I was, I was the... sat there checking my phone yesterday because yeah. I was like, Ian will be on his yeah, way. Roy way... might give us an invite. Yeah, but where, you, what country were you? Next time. You don't even know yeah. what country you're in. I was about right? five minutes up the road. You're joking. I know. Joking. <laughs> I love your joking. accent. It's so nice. Such a good accent. No, it was nice. You, you, got, the I mean? you got the freedom of London as well. Mm. That's, a, that's a big thing, isn't it? Well, it's, it's, it's a what ceremony. Does that, what does that mean you it's, can do? Well, it, there's not much you can do. It's, it's a ceremony that, that started in, what, 1237. That's how long. I had a, it was a brilliant kind of like um, little ceremony. And they explained to you what it's about. And it is what... It's, I'm no longer a peasant, apparently, you know, which was quite good news. Um, you can herd sheep across Tower Bridge. I'm getting so many people saying, if you need sheep, I can give you sheep. Um, I think you, I'd that? like you to do that. Could we do that and I film think you it? Can do, you, I think you can get do some sheep. You can do it because I think every year you're able to, to, to do it, to, to herd them over. So I think I'm going to do that at some stage. <laughs> and then I think there's something about the, the, 
the, the, the official like letter, what they give you, what you're meant to fold up and have and carry around with you. And if certain things go wrong, I don't know if you're... Arrested. Uh, no, well, yeah, no, 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 not arrested. If you're drunk in public, the police, you're allowed to show the police this thing, they can ah. take you home. It's a very old ceremony, so it's an old thing. Yeah. It's not like, oh, all of a sudden I can get free parking tickets and speed in London. It's just, <laughs> it's just a really nice um, thing to be bestowed on you. I, I'm really proud of you. I'm, special I'm a week, proud eh? Londoner. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a nice, it's been a nice week and very emotional week. And you're, are you freedom of? Uh, Sunderland, Sunderland, yeah. I think ours is you can walk a cow over the bridge, but yeah, I, d mm -hmm. I obviously haven't done it. And I was hoping the parking as well. I wish you could just park anywhere. Mm. That would be should amazing. Be to, I feel like they should update that gal and make you park anywhere. Should we put yeah. a position together? I think so, yeah. <laughs> that would be so yeah, good. We should do something like that. Yeah, my mum's got freedom of bury. I haven't, me and my brother and sister haven't got the freedom of bury, but Kieran Trippy has. Nice. After, yeah, that makes I can see that. <laughs> I, he was what, a good fullback, wasn't he? Gal, are you serious? <laughs> serious? What, you were offered it? No, the contact. So basically, my mum got it, and then about when, when Kieran Trippy scored that goal in the World Cup oh, in Sweden. Russia. Was it, yeah, against yeah. Sweden, oh, free kick. Berry announced that they were giving the freedom of. Wow. Berry, I thought. I don't, I don't think he lived there that long, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, I lived there for like 20 years and like how many played for England a few times. How many times, Premier Leagues you got, Gary? And I'm thinking, like, <laughs> I'm here, Berry. <laughs> so when they contacted me, I was a little bit petulant. But it can be politically candid. Different people run the council, can it? It no? can be a little yeah. bit, yeah. Maybe you've upset yeah. a few people. Yeah. You might have upset someone, Gary. Likely, isn't it? Maybe. <laughs> but I can't see how you've not got one Kieran has. Have you got freedom of anything, Roy, in Cork? Oh, yeah. You've got freedom of Cork? Yeah. Is it, similar, is it the same thing? Same what you were saying, right? Yeah. You can hurt some. Yeah, I think so. You can hurt some sheep down the main street. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of herding going to be going on. There's only me cat herd. <laughs> and Jill, you've been in Mexico. Have you got jet lag? Yes, a little bit, actually. <laughs> I was being a bit cocky saying, you know what, I, I never get jet lag, but I've been wide awake wow. at like three o'clock. So there's been a lot of box to box coffee trips, just getting the plug in. And actually, on that note, Roy, <laughs> Our first ever black card is going to go to you because you keep complaining about the prices. Wow. So I'm going to give you this and really? you and one friend can come for an Earl Grey tea. Oh, my there gosh. You go. right. There you go. That's for you. That's a nice little you. touch, isn't it? Yeah. What? Free tea all the time or just yeah, a one-time all the time. Brilliant. Any time. And, he's, and, he's, and with, with his friend as well. Yeah. Brilliant. And all you have to do is five Instagram posts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Brilliant. You That's a lovely that. Me a fortune. <laughs> right, let's get on to the football. So, <coughs> Tottenham, Chelsea, Monday night. I'd done the Newcastle and Arsenal game on Saturday and I thought this will just be a good game of football. But it was absolute madness. Absolute mayhem. What did you What do you make of it, Roy? You're obviously watching. Yeah, I didn't really enjoy it. I thought there, there was a bit, there was too much going on. There was too much going on when there was a couple of sending offs. Mm. What part didn't you enjoy? Uh, I know what you mean because I was there. Well, I actually, didn't. I, 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 I didn't think the quality was that great yeah. in the game. Listen, I know f f the Spurs are up against it and they got a couple of applause. I thought Chelsea were very, very average. But just the whole game, I think sometimes when a couple of sending offs, I, it spoils the game for me. I know there's yeah. plenty of talking points, but sometimes you sit down and just want to watch a good game, good quality game. It was for 15 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, but the, yeah, 15. 15 Jesus, yeah. the game's over 90, Gary. It you know was 110 like or something. Yeah, of course, a lot more one. than that. So I just think <coughs> too many stoppages, too much, too much stuff going on. I could just spoil it for me that particular night. Generally speaking, it's great to have some talking points, but to me, there was just too much going on. There was too much madness, mm. and ultimately, so. You know, the Spurs players were making some crazy decisions. Yes. Yeah, the first 15 minutes, they were fine. But even afterwards, I was disappointed with Chelsea. Not really... I know they scored later on, and it looks a comfortable scoreline, but up to the last few minutes, Spurs were some of the chance. So, generally speaking, I just didn't enjoy... I, th I thought there was a really lack of quality in the game. I, I, I thought the... Um... I thought when it, when it went down to nine men, because, you know, you, you, when you're seeing players just getting sent off and you're seeing people still making crazy challenges, you're thinking, what are you doing? Um, when it went down to nine men, I was very surprised with the tactics, mm -hmm. simply because... I was amazed. It was unbelievable. I, 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 I didn't I, like it. You know what? I've, it was brilliant I, I in the end, it, actually, to be fair, in some ways. You know what? Yeah, because you're thinking, well, surely Chelsea are going to break it down at yeah. some point. And obviously they did, but I couldn't understand that going down to nine men um, and your, your tactics is to be on the halfway line with defenders already pointing that way without yeah. pressure on the ball. I was thinking, I was, you know what? It's in the moment... 
Um, obviously, Chelsea didn't score for a while. There was a bit of me that, <laughs> that wanted Tottenham to hold on. But there's no way they're going to hold on when you've got that line like that. And I was thinking to myself, I cannot imagine, and I probably, when I was watching it, saying, if Ten Hag had those tactics, everybody would have lost their minds. But the deflection tactics of, of Ange was, was, was like Fergie-esque, bro. The way he deflected everything off of the way they played and what happened and the fact they got two players sent off for just craziness um, and then playing that high line, I thought that was genius from his point of view because no one is talking about the fact that I haven't seen that kind of high line since... I, can't, I don't even want to be disrespectful, but I can't even think back to seeing that kind of, like, plight. Gary, I was watching it stunned. It, it fooled Chelsea for a long time, though, didn't it? Yeah, but the thing is, is what, what I couldn't understand with, 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 with Chelsea... Not Chelsea. What I couldn't understand with, with Tottenham is Chelsea, they, as much as they're creating chances, they're missing chances left, right and centre. So to not have the two banks of four with one in front and maybe break on them, to frustrate Chelsea when you're 1-1 was baffling me. I couldn't understand what was going on. Lost, I, was, I couldn't understand it. But he comes yeah. out and says, like, sticking to a philosophy, doesn't he? Like, this is what I'm doing regardless of anything. But then, surely in football, you have to manage the game as things go on. And, like, if you're missing a certain player, you'll suddenly change the way you're going to play. I thought it was just mind-blowing. Yeah. I get that you stick to your principles, yeah. but come on, when you're down yeah. to nine players, I've, like, I've, surely... Yeah. Yeah. I've ever been sent off for showing emotion. So basically, I have. I mean, I little put my little head, headbutt towards Matt Manaman, mm. him, Joy Barton, and Robbie Fowler had come over. They were playing for City at the time. Mm. Were you playing? Uh, FA Cup. Yeah. And they came over and they played me a little bit. Mm. And uh oh. The little. I, and then, and, and I, oh no. I got. Yeah. That's emotion. You, you mean, that's where you bit red mist. I, I did. I did. Because, and the thing is, <laughs> I got sent off against um, <laughs> against Leeds for West Ham. It was like one of the last game, last game of the season, I think. West Ham, I was coming towards the last game of the season and it was Ian Hart. I didn't, I didn't catch him with the challenge. I didn't catch him and I know I didn't catch him, but he, he went over and he was rolling. And like, you know what I mean? I, <clears throat> it was one of those that, you know, when you get a red card, you, people look and they see the red card and they're surprised. They're like, what? <laughs> right, so it was like... What did you say I, to him? <laughs> and then I, then I started... Was it because he's Irish, is it? No, it wasn't because he's Irish. <laughs> it wasn't because he's Irish. <laughs> But what it was is that I felt so wronged that I, I lost all the emotion. Mm. I lost my, I lost, no, I lost all my composure. And I started effing and blinding with him. Then, the, then I done the thing, you know, the thing what you, you just don't do when you see people doing it, you say, what's for someone getting off chasing the ref? Oh, God. To try and talk to the ref. <laughs> to change You know, when people are trying to stop you from getting you to... You put your hands on him. I, I didn't get... I, no, because I had two or three players stopping me from oh. getting there. So, because I couldn't get to him. So, you'd think, OK, so I've been sent off. So I'm walking off and you'd think that was it. And then I kicked the referee's door in and smashed his room to bits. Oh. That was the last, that was the, the emotion. Um, I was going to say the emotional geez. response is usually yeah. five seconds after yeah. the incident. But my, no, but you know what happened? Oh. Can I tell you what happened? Still going. I literally, honestly, because <laughs> like, you're talking about emotion and I, I felt so wronged. In a yeah. situation. Do you know what's called, Ian? You justified anger. <laughs> no, it's justified anger. If you think someone's wrong, I've, yeah. I've, yeah. honestly, kick the door. But the thing is, <laughs> is that the only thing I remember um, was coming back out of the room after smashing the referee's room to bits through television. Just talk us through that. What was it like? So the... I, I honestly, I was I, so I walked in off the off the pitch. Was the kit man not with you or anything? No one was with me. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked. In. Obviously, this is why I did it. So much. And, and because like I'm feeling wrong by the. I kicked the door in and you'd have thought that would have been it. And I didn't. I just went in. I got, I think, all the gear, threw all their gear in the bath, I threw a television against the wall. And then as I walked out, David Ellery was coming the other way. So oh, my I remember. So what I done was, um, I went in. I didn't even take the kit off. I took my gear off the peg and I just drove home. And then when I drove home, Harry ran down the phone and he said, what the <laughs> effing else going on? <laughs> Oh, God. And that was, a, to be honest, that was the last time. Like, what did I get fined? I think I got fined something like £18,000 for that. But, like, the problem... £18,000? Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, what saved me... Our fines were £30. Yeah. Um, the, 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 um, the thing what saved me in that instant was the fact that I was... Uh, look at you two laughing at my mental state. Um, <laughs> is that I was having counselling. I was having counselling at the time, anger management counselling. That was working. <laughs> <laughs> I had an episode, Roy. Oh, I had an episode. You'd have lapsed. Oh, right. you'd, you'd have slipped. <laughs> you'd have slipped. <laughs>
<laughs> I fell off. <laughs> but like, you know, you laugh now. I laugh now, but like, I literally, I, I blacked out with anger and emotion. I, like you said, I felt wronged. Yeah. And you know what I mean? I kind of like, um, I lost it. But you're so happy now at 16, mm. mature, you've, yeah. sort of, you've flourished. I've, I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> I've matured. <laughs> but the thing is, I wouldn't change any of that. I wouldn't have changed any of that. And this is why probably I was so emotional getting, when, on, on my 60th and everything. Every, everybody, getting so much love. You know what I mean? Something that I didn't believe. I got a lot of when I was younger in the house. And but you were up. angry as a player, weren't you? You were angry. You know what? I was. It was, it was fight, wasn't it? You, you was... know what it was? It was, um, I think, um, I didn't, I felt like I didn't get respect. You know what I mean? I, I, you know what I mean? I look at it. Arsenal like, or just no, nationally? No, no. I think nationally, in respects of not the players. Yeah. You know, players, you know, players are fine, but I think that the way the press would, um, would, would document me in that, it was always negative. And it's funny because even with the, the acting stuff that I'm doing, you look, I have, you have to read a load of the stuff that they wrote about you. And in games where I was doing well, they would always go back to the negative thing of what I may have done and done this and that. And I always found the reason why I might have been so angry, Gaz, was um, I didn't feel I was getting any kind of credit or recognition. You know what I mean? I think one of the worst I've ever felt, I don't think I've cried as much, probably, probably to speak about it at some stage, is when I got left out. When I went to Arsenal, in 92, you know what I mean? Everyone's saying, you know, if you, you, you know what I mean? When you go to a big club, you know what I mean? If you do well, you get in England. Went to Arsenal, won the Golden Boot, and I never even went, he never even took me to the Euros in Sweden. I was devastated. Mm. You know what I mean? So who, 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 I, who were the strikers then? I think he took Lineker's, I think it was Lineker's last one. Yeah. Alan Shearer went there. I think I, I hadn't started blasting yet. I think when he came yeah. back. So, and Alan Smith. And so um, he took them lot and it's something that, um, again, I think back at and feel like I've been robbed of something yeah. because I was yeah. flying at the time. So those are the things why I believe that I was angry through my career because I always felt like I'd have to prove it because I'm not going to get the correct recognition. Which one of them should you have gone instead of if you had to get rid of one? Um, of all I don't know because like you're talking about three... three. Three strikers enough though. Usually you take four anyway, don't you? And this is why I was really... I was, I, and was you Peter Beers are there though as well, maybe? I'm, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Okay. I know Carlton Palmer was in that squad, though. You know, for some reason, Carlton's not even... He's not even a forward, but he, he's the first name that comes up that he went back to. <laughs> but, like, no, it was... Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't bothered with who was there because I believed I'd done enough. Yeah, but that anger probably drove you on, righty. Anger's I, an I, energy. It probably, it probably, it probably did... It probably helped you, believe it. probably did, um, Roy, simply because I just always felt like... It gave me a, a kind of, like, a mentality of continually having to prove it every single yeah. game. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it wasn't... It, weren't a bad thing, apart Definitely. from the fines. Yeah. Yeah. I had to go to yeah. anger management for um, a headbutt as well. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, but I think when it's, you speak it's about... Like Am I yeah. the only one that's not been to anger management? I'm imagining you have. <laughs> yeah. he, he bought the court. I'm not been there yet, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> this time. Um, yeah, but I was captain for City for one game and we were playing Arsenal. And I think it was the added pressure we were getting beat 1-0, trying to justify it now. But um, yeah, I got into a bit of a tussle and she punched me. And then she like came at me with her head. Who is she? Sorry? Um, oh, I don't... Should I mention her name? Yeah. Just yeah. Jade Bailey, but she was like, she was kind of like, she punched us in the stomach wow. and they didn't see it. And then she she went like that. And then automatically, if someone does that yeah, to you, you, you yeah, do yeah. that. So I didn't like absolutely headbutt. Just a little one. Yeah, that was got, me sent, man, I mean, that. got sent was it? off. Yeah. You better off doing the proper thing. Yeah, you? that's what yeah. I thought after. <laughs> and the manager, I was absolutely gutted. It was the first time I'd been sent off. And I remember the manager on the night just sent us an emoji of you and then a donut. And I thought, oh, I'm all right oh, here. No. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know, but I had to go to anger management. Uh, on who say? Sorry. For um, that. No, so this was I rang the England manager and was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't Phil." <laughs> <laughs> and they basically was like, "Oh, just when something happens to you, you've got to wait five seconds before reacting because that's your emotional brain. But you're not gonna, someone's not gonna headbutt you, and you're gonna go one." Two, no, three, no. and then make a logical decision. So yeah, yeah, it was called back to Brucey sessions. Yeah, back to Bruce. Oh. but I'm calm now. I'm calm. But that was my only sending off. <coughs> Isn't too bad. How Roy? many of you had Roy? Wh which one of yours are we gonna? <laughs> which one? How many times have you sent off? Uh, not that many. Oh. No, I think seven, seven or eight. Fifties. All right, that's a lot. It's got to be more no, than no. that. No, for no, a midfielder, for a combative midfielder, yeah. it's not a lot. I'm here in seven. thirteen. <laughs> what <are you> wrong. <laughs> You won't know enough to send off. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> How many times has Roy sent off? Do we have any stats on this? 13. 
It's not 13. 13. <laughs> yeah, 13. That's not, not true. You're, you're, it's you're not 13. You're blocking it out. Christ. I'm not blocking it out. Can we read them out? Yeah, yeah. read them out. Yeah, read yeah them one out. by one. Listen, if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll hold my hand up. It's not 13. Which one stands, which one stands out for you? Uh, we have a list. Send it off to the ones. We have a list of Roy sending his off bills. We can go through them one by one. Don't regret any of them. Is there any more you think you said? I was stupid there. Not really, no. I was, I People were annoying me, and mm. um, obviously the one everyone remembers is the Harlan one. Uh, I got sent off Newcastle a couple of times with your mate, uh, Shearer. Uh, <laughs> no, sent off a Blackburn. <laughs> sent off once for Ireland. I sent up in the charity shield against Chelsea. Charity shield for Chelsea. Against, against Crystal Palace, Gareth in the semi final. Got sent off in a yeah, charity game. Gareth. Yeah, Gareth deserved that. Wait, Gareth, yeah, Gareth lunged at me. Southgate? Yeah. Gareth. He'd done the same at me at Villa. Yeah, Gareth got, was nice. Gareth was, Everyone thinks yeah. Gareth's a nice guy. Yeah. I tell you, he lunged at me. He, honestly, Gareth was. He got <laughs> he tried me. to break my leg. He done, he done me as well. And you've worked with him since, haven't you, on television? Oh, have you discussed it? I can tolerate him, though, no, yeah. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so where's your 13? Well, I'm getting them right? built. We just need to right. keep the sort of conversation going till we right. get to 13. So no, no regrets with them. I got was, there the, was there any of the... Did you, what I used to think, the worst thing in the field is, uh, the worst thing in the world of getting sent off, I was sent off three or four times, you're in the dressing room, your team haven't won the game, oh, and you're yeah. there, oh, really and you're like, please well, win the game. Home, send off I mean, seriously, no, it's like the horrible feeling. You've let your, team, yeah, you let your yeah. teammates down. Oh, it's yeah. horrible. Yeah, you're did, not, you, did you feel that? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But that, that was part of my game. If people are annoying me, and then you have to put a marker down with people, or people might have been shutting their mouth off, or you've had incidents previously, mm. like I had with Haaland, then my mindset, right, he goes on about what motivated him. Sometimes you're thinking uh, you'd have anger, that type of emotion, or you're desperate to win. Yeah, I, 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 I Was yeah. the one where you cost your team the game? Because that's, the, to me, the worst thing. Forest, Forest. No, I think the beauty is, I think yeah. the few times I was sent off, uh, the, the seven or eight, <laughs> and do you know what? We are going to get those 13. No, we? <laughs> seven or eight, I'm guarantee you. I think the team kind of ended up getting a result. Well, the semi final <laughs> against Arsenal. Arsenal got me out. The, the, the players always got me out of jail, to be fair. They help. Oh, if we got beaten in a big game and you let the team down, of course you're feeling bad. But if the team get a result, you're feeling guilty. But when they all walk in their chair and you're going, oh, thanks, lads, that helps. Yeah, yeah. And it helps with the manager's attitude towards you. But you still, listen, you still get punished, you still get fined. You still, you're like, listen, whatever, when I was at Send Off at United, it's still. Listen, two weeks' wages on oh, it. I, 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 I got two weeks' wages. Yeah. Mm. No, shame. 18, <laughs> 30 <laughs> quid, you got fined. Yeah. I thought he was going to reveal the amount. <laughs> uh, I, I oh, it was a lot, a lot more than what you were getting fined. Well, I was on more money, and <laughs> rightly so. <laughs> it was sending off against Forrest, what I've done, because it was a silly one. He was a big, big fella, big... <coughs> I can't remember, and it was one of those where, you know, you're just in the corner and you're going back, and, you're, and then I just saw his foot and just... Stamped, Southampton, I've sent off Southampton. Stamped on his foot and that, and I'm... Ten. I scored already. <laughs> I, I scored in this game. I scored in this game, and then <coughs> I stepped on his foot. He went down like, oh, no, I thought... He went down, and then the, the, the crowd started singing, off, off, off. And I remember Stuart Pearce said, you've had it now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And I remember when I went off, and I couldn't stop crying. We lost 2-1 as well. We lost 2-1 in the game, and I remember <coughs> I just could not control my crying. I tried to... You do a lot of crying, don't I do, you? I do, yeah, so I do, a... I do. There's a lot of crying in me. You know what I mean? It's a... not a bad thing. <laughs> That's a strong guy to show you emotion. Well, the thing there is, you it's go. just, you've got to come out. I didn't do a lot of crying when I was younger, which I should have done. Maybe I wouldn't be crying so much now. <laughs> Watching the <laughs> film and sort of crying. Looking at my cats playing, I'd start crying. Who's the players, apart from Roy, who you think of red cards? You know, like, when you played? Is there, like, a player that you think got sent off a lot? Mm. I was what, thinking, uh, but I was Patrick Vieira used to get sent but he probably didn't get sent off that many no. times. But he, no, I'm sure. Dennis Wise was he sent off a lot? Wisey. I don't think. I think what? he used to get away with it a lot because he, no, he was sneaky when he was a snake in the grass. <laughs> he was. He was sneaky. He used to I pinch Vinny, people. Vinny, Vinny got sent off a yeah. few times. Mm. Could have been sent off more. Yeah. That's a question. Then who's got sent off the most in the Premier League history? We can find that out about in the next mm. couple. Oh, guarantee it's not me. 13. No, it's, be it's up not there. 30. No, he's not, it's 13 old competition. No, it's not even that much. Still counts. We've definitely got. I want to say seven or eight. We've I'm definitely got 11. Right, so let's just let's just let's work through these now. Let's have a work through. If I'm wrong, I won't have any cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely not seven or eight. Right. Right. The first one was the FA Cup final. Uh, FA Cup final. final. Semi final. Villa Park sent off for a stamp on Gareth Southgate. Yeah, and he deserved it. <laughs> Still get red. So you're going to comment on all of them. The second one, Gareth was on his back. Wait, you always say the defenders never be on your back. You know what yeah. I mean? Always be on your feet. Yeah. Well, second, <laughs> one, second one. Second one. Second one. 1995, August 28th, early in the season. Blackburn at Ewood Park, dismissed in an ill-tempered match. I was unlucky match. with that one. <laughs> no, I was. 
That was two yellow cards. <laughs> second one was for diving. When I was second on for, I think it was a penalty. You dived. No, I didn't dive. That's my point. <laughs> the third one. The third one. The Premiership versus Middlesbrough Old Trafford. Yeah, King sure, continued strike, to be dogged yeah. by a red mist and he was sent off for the third time in six months. Yeah, that was, that was a bit silly. Fjord top. Remember the striker? Fjord top. Yeah. 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 What did you do? I tried to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that was I think we won that. I think we won the game. <laughs> tried to punch him. Did you? No, I didn't connect with really. <laughs> Uh, fourth one, the Premiership versus Southampton at yeah. the Dell. Yeah. Uh, Keane was sent off again as United lose 6-3. Right. Oh, yeah. What were you sent off for then? I didn't know you looked I played the game. Off in that I, game. I played the game. Well, you were old, dude. <laughs> Looking at you. You, you look all out scores. there. Yeah, you played well, obviously. You gave up six. <laughs> I know. It was a kit, though. It was a kit, so... You I feel like we're in you? court and you're What's reading out allegations. Yeah. How, how this many is his rap sheet. Where are we now? Is that four? That's, that's four. That's four. The fifth one is the, ninth, the, the FA Cup semi-final at Arsenal at Villa yeah. Park, yeah. where it says he was somewhat... Keane was somewhat unfortunate. Was that he sent off exactly. two bookable offences. Exactly. He came over and tackled over Mars. Over Mars, yeah. I think I was covering for you again. I know. And that was Ellery. Ellery set me up <laughs> four times. Yeah. Did you have a bit of a beef with Ellery? A bit. He was. I think was he a school. Was he yes, a principal? I had a problem at with some, Ellery as well. some posh school. Yeah, Harrow. In Harrow. Is it? And he had that look over me. He was. Yeah, he had that same with me. See? Irish. T I was definitely looking down at me. Because <laughs> I was thinking. Yeah, I like, said to him, "Book me. You've been in the tunnel before the game. Stars can know he's going to book me." He set me up <laughs> three or four times. Like a class system thing. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. He was looking down at me. Yeah. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I've, I got the same vibe from Thanks. Ellery. Thanks. Yeah. Without a doubt. There you go. We were all right with Harrow, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ellery, yeah. 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 Quick, uh. Six one, the Premiership versus Newcastle at St James's Park. Keane was again sure. dismissed for collecting two yellow cards. Yeah. I saw him losing that. I just... Yeah, no, you I saw it. that one. That's you you proper lost one. it then, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, did. But do you know it. what? That was more with the team as well than. Our team or your uh, Our team, team, just we gave away a goal, I think, towards the end. I think, I don't know if you were playing, but Wes, Wes was poor for the goal. I remember I was, I was more angry at Wes. Mm. I'm sure I hope Wes was playing. <laughs> and and then, you know when they wouldn't give you the ball back yes. one of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he's trying to get the, get ball. the ball back. Yeah, We're seven in. Did I, I had anger management classes started by that? One, well, that's it. The seventh, uh, Charity Shield versus yeah. Chelsea at Wembley. Oh, yeah. A red card for a reckless challenge yeah. on Gus Poyet. Yeah. Was it reckless? What yeah, I was. You? I enjoyed that stage it. Of the season, why are you that angry? What are you doing? This is Charity Shield. This is yeah, happy but you know what I mean? Mean? we have to put a marker on early in the season. What part of the game was that early on in the game? The I'm final? Sure. I'm not sure. Did you win it? I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> he didn't care. What was the challenge, if you don't mind me asking? I think he was shielded, and I think I just, just went up yeah, and just. I know, I think oh, right down the back of the calf. Oh, yeah. 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 Sore ones. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. Shame. Uh, eighth, the Premiership, Premiership, Premier League versus Manchester City at Old Trafford. Of course, yeah. A straight red for a disgraceful knee high <laughs> foul on Alfie Harland. I'm just reading out the description of what was on the papers at the time. Like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, you didn't help either. I didn't help with what? Running off to the lines, man, <laughs> saying it's only a yellow. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> It's true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Gary Reynolds going, it's only a yellow. So when you say that to an official, he's going to go, well, that must be a red. <laughs> Why would you say, it's only a yellow? Don't even I... book me. So I'm, I'm at fault for basically your being sent off. But I, I, I don't think that tackle was that bad. I really don't. I know it looks bad. You know what a player does a somersault? Yeah. But, it, it, yeah. but the damage, it's... Yeah. It was knee high, though, wasn't it? Yeah, but I was never going to injure him in that tackle. You can't injure a player with that type of tackle. As we know, if you play the game, you know when a fella is trying to injure a player. Yeah. It's just the fact when someone does a somersault, it looks kind of worse mm. than what it was. And it was a city game, and it was a rubbish game, and it was a bit. I think we were all frustrated. I think we just been knocked out of Europe mm. a couple of days before it. So. I remember watching you walk off as well. And I'd been sent off. You know, I got injured. I'd done my cruise up at Leeds. Mm. And people With tend it, to against him. Yeah. Well, I, obviously, I tried to trip him, and again, players. He was stood over me when I'd done my cruciate, which was a bad injury, and he was saying some nasty things when I was injured. And I just thought, listen, we'll, we'll obviously we'll meet again, you know? What's the ninth? Because, like, no. Tom Parsons said, no, no, no. <laughs> it's just going to have to be an Eighth. extended no, we're, at nine, we're at ninth. We're at ninth. We're at ninth. 2001, Premier League, Newcastle at St James's Park, dismissed for a second successive season at St James's Park for throwing the ball at Alan Shearer. He then made an attempt to lash out at the striker as he made his way off the field. I thought that's. I thought that was one we were talking about earlier. No, no, the one, right. the one earlier was for two yellow cards. Oh, right. Okay. So no, yeah, that was the one I was angry you with. Forget, Wes and the, the... You forgot. Yeah. You forgot one. 
Right. Oh, and there's, I forgot. There's Porto as well. So there is more than seven. Ten. 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 Remember, you said there's no uh, way seven. 13. Remember, you said that. <laughs> Go on. It's, not it's definitely not 13. Go on. <laughs> Sent off by Uriah Rennie in injury time of the one all oh, yeah. draw after elbowing yeah. Jason McAteer following a number of heated exchanges yeah, throughout the game. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. forgot that one? Yeah, but I should have. Okay. He deserved it. Jason McAteer. He was your Irish teammate, colleague. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I wouldn't go that far. Were you mates or not? Absolutely not. No, okay. Just yeah. because you play with somebody doesn't mean you're your mates. There's yeah, but at international level. No, but again, do you know what? What you see at the media players, players who showed their moats off. Right? Yeah. I didn't mind lads kicking me up. Booting me, I, honestly. But McIntyre, as usual, had, had plenty to say for himself. Yeah. So, but I didn't even. I, I didn't deserve to be sent off in that game. Absolutely not. If you ever look back at it, I didn't even catch him. Eleventth, yeah. wow. uh, February twenty fifth, two thousand three, Champions League versus yeah. Porto oh, at Stadio de Dragao, with his side trailing two one in the first leg of the first knockout round. The red mist descended for Keane again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to antagonise you, but it's just the reports. <laughs> you sound like you're enjoying it, don't you? <laughs> it's brilliant. This is With four brilliant. minutes remaining, the Irishman yeah. need, need the goalkeeper. needlessly trod on the Porto keeper, Victor Bay, Bow, Bay, as he tried to chase down a loose ball. I think I remember that one. I think I was playing. Yeah. No, that was... I, I felt bad after that one. That, did, that, that is leaving, letting the team down. Yeah, what's that? When he's, when, he's, when he's going, obviously he's the captain, where, where are you feeling? Because you're seeing him like, oh, what's wrong with him? Did you, can you say something to him when you get in the dressing room? Did you say anything? Did any of you lot say anything? Truthfully, righty. No, no, Aww. listen, I wasn't, I, I, I couldn't take criticism, but any time lads came in or the manager came, I would be feeling bad, don't worry. I, I wouldn't be sitting there going, like, relaxed about it. So I think the players would recognise when someone's feeling bad and going, yeah. no point in going there. Did you the apologise? I'm not sure. I, might, I must have apologised once or twice. The manager would, some t once the manager would say something like, <laughs> what the hell, if, if he thought it was like a needless send off, like me at uh, yeah. Tottenham against Gilles yeah. Nilla. It was stupid. I mean, I'd already, I was already in a booking and then went for him mm. a second time. Gary, what the fucking hell are you playing at, son? Mm. That, that, that's what you'd get. And yeah. that was it. Better be it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, the guild would be kicking in. You're right. Yeah, the, I think the guild, massive guild. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. feel terrible. Isn't yeah. It? Sometimes the, the fact, sometimes, right, the manager, when the manager used to come in and say nothing to you, that, the, that's, that's, worse. that's oh, yeah. really yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just yeah. look at you with disgust and you're like, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it's all back then. There's not the WhatsApp group where you get home and write a big long message of apologies. Yeah. Is that what happens? Yeah, sometimes I, I think you get that on a night. Uh, like you get home and you're like, oh, look, I'm really no, sorry. No, but no players ever either come in and had a go at me, to be fair. No, but, but I don't I think they had a go at other players. We'd never done that. that. No. We'd never come and have a go. Even when Eric done that, where Eric kicked the fan, none of us ever came in after the game. Eric, you're a bit what did, you do, what, 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 did you know what happened that night when Eric kicked the fan? Yeah. What Straight mean? in real time. That, yeah. Because yeah, he, was, was, he was just being substituted. Yeah, right? and again, we talk about anger and the emotion, and that we, that's why we all played the yeah. game. And Eric was obviously been, been sent off, hadn't he? Yeah. yeah. And he's walking off, and, and that happens. That... In the moment, you don't, that's the last thing. This is what I'm saying. So I can't even compute why I've done that to the referee. Yeah, like, like, when you're going off, and then all of a sudden, he shouts what he shouts. That's it. Was the 18,000 fine? Was that the damage to the referee's room or your wage? <laughs> <laughs> I just keep picturing them with this little you know, portable TV. <laughs> you know what? I was trying to, at the time, I was trying to think with my agents. I wanted to pay them. <coughs> I wanted to pay them in pound coins, 18,000 pound coins, because you have to pay it yourself out of your own account. They want it. And I was desperate to do it. But like at the time, the manager I was with, he said, You can't do that. That's the thing. I was so angry. I could not get over the anger of that one. OK, so going back to Roy, Roy, we can't... F so on, 11, I, got I got sent off once for Ireland. So there you go, that's 12. And we think there's 13, but we can, we've only got... We've I only, said, I told you... We've only got 13. 12 at the moment. Yeah, it's not 13. Mm. We, we, well, it's still, 12. It's still, like yeah, you were saying he said 7. 13, it's not 13. Yeah, you were saying 7. <laughs> so anyway, the big... Okay, now we've... That was a nice little section. We've talked about emotion, but we've got some sympathy for Romero, for Doggy, for other players who obviously... Because we've all been there, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Uh, we, and to be fair, we can say also it was stupid because we were stupid at yeah. the time yeah. when we got sent yeah. off. So I think it's just a case of let's uh, let's move on. The big controversy in the last, I suppose, week or so has been around uh, Mikel Arteta, mm. Arsenal, Newcastle game, and we've got Mark Halsey to join us, who's right. been quite outspoken. Um, on Zoom, Ian, he's not joining right. us in. I was going to say, where, where, where Why did you look under the table? <laughs> because I was thinking, well, where, where is he? <laughs> 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 Mark, great to see you, and you looks like you're having a nice time over there. You're living in Spain now. Yeah, it's gorgeous out there, Gaz. It's absolutely gorgeous forever. But I've got to say, I've got to give you one of these for delaying the restart. Okay, so <laughs> off you go. 
<laughs> Still carrying those around. With... Did you ever send Roy off, by the way, Mark? No, no, I never sent Roy off. We used to have a lot of conversations on the pitch, didn't we, mate? But we can't we can't talk about it on this show because obviously the, the language that went on was a little bit uh, <laughs> shop floor. <laughs> Okay, Mark. How do we, how, how do you get consistency across thirty five people who are human beings when you're talking about a game that's moving at such a pace with all the things we've got consistency in goal line technology. We've got consistency with uh, offside now. Yeah. We've got more consistency than we've ever had, in my view. You're talking about these subjective decisions where one person thinks yeah. it's a penalty and the other person doesn't, and all of a sudden we're thinking it's a shocker. It's not a shocker if two people think different yeah. things. So what, what, what do we? How do you get more consistency? How do you get that? VAR was brought in, like you say, for an absolute howler. Absolute howler. And we seem to have been going, VAR coming in and getting involved for everything. We've got to get back to, you know, like the Henri handball in, in, in that qualifier with, with, with Republic of Ireland. That's what, it, that's what it's there for. But now it seems to be coming in for everything. We've got to, I think the IFAB have got to look at the protocol and rewrite the protocol on, on VAR. But Mark, just let me stop you there. Last season, if you remember, when they introduced the high bar for VAR intervention, we didn't like it. And we actually, no. we, all, we all said they need to get involved now and overturn things at a lower bar. Mm. So we've been there where they had the high bar, Mark. I mean, for me, you don't come in and say, you know, a foul's a foul. You, you shouldn't have this high bar, we shouldn't have this, this low bar. It's like the start of the season, where they, they, they brought out this direction. You, said, you just said, though, it should come in for howlers. So my point is, no, 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 for an absolute howler, for an absolute, you know, is is, is the yeah, Newcastle goal on so, on Saturday a howler? Yeah, it's a howler yeah. for me. Yeah, no, I don't, actually, that's a good, but I don't think that is a howler. It's not a howler. It's not a howler. It's not it's howler. Two, we're talking about. That's not a howler. A minimum of contact for penalties, and this man's got two hands in his. I'm going to walk off, bro. I'm going to eat your Colin Calvert, Colin head. What happened to the just... anger management stuff? No, Feed because like this is why I'm going to walk down. off. Because I can't deal with the anger what's starting to build up in me. How can you be honestly talking about minimum contact for penalties and this guy's got two... And people are going to say, oh, it's because it's Arsenal. And it's, no, it's not because it's Arsenal. It's because he's there's got a, two hands on his back there's and he's impeded. There's impeded. a bit of that. <laughs> I, 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 I think what I'm saying is, we've seen, we've, seen, we've, seen three, we've seen goals disallowed for similar incidents or lesser incidents on fouls on goalkeepers. So there's where you get where we get the inconsistency. We have seen goals walled out this year for little knocks on little fouls. Mark, you sorry, let's just come in. When you compare to when you ref, I'm just trying to imagine the referees now today, someone in your ear, they must have self-doubt all the time. At least if you made mistakes years ago, you'd maybe hold your yeah. hand up and go, listen, we got that wrong. No, they must be constantly, imagine somebody in your ear all the time, you need to go and check this. They must have self-doubt all the time. Yeah, I, I think I think the different, I think what's the problem we have also at the moment is we're relying, I think referees are not, are relying on VAR just, and they're not they're not going out there and, and for, for, got, what referees mm. got to do they've got to forget VARs there and they're just mm. going to go out and referee what's in front of them yeah. give a decision and if yeah, it is yeah. if it is drastically right. wrong VAR will get in, will get I don't think they involved. do do what there must be so much going on in their heads yeah. Yeah. oh no I get that oh, no, on, yeah. on Monday night I was, I was watching the VAR camera they were definitely <clears> unsure they were definitely if you've got a safety if you've got a safety net you know you've got a safety net you're 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 going to be a lot more e yeah. more yeah, but, relaxed but, about but, what you're but, doing. but Ian, we've got to forget about that. Just go yeah. out and referee what's in front of you. Give the referees the confidence to go out there and referee. OK, Mark, last yeah. question on this. I, w one thing I'm absolutely adamant about is that Arsenal Football Club and Liverpool a few weeks ago, they should not be creating a public pylon by writing letters to no. basically the public or the PJMOL and then publishing them publicly at that outrage at referees. I just do not think that's helpful at all. Writing, go, it's your club. No, are you no. proud of them for that, or you think? Yeah, I'm, 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 you think they did the right thing? Yeah, I'm pleased that Jurgen Klopp done no, that because right. of the um, because of the gravity of the no. of the mistake, and I still feel that Mikel is well within his rights. No, Mikel, I'm a club. club. Arsenal. Yeah. Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, no, no. What well, they got? They're backing their man. He's backing the manager. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm happy with him backing the manager because we're seeing mistakes on a scale now that something has to be said. What, what did Mikel honestly do, say? No, Mikel's fine. Yeah, Mikel said, but what, so why shouldn't the club back him if Mikel's fine? Why shouldn't they? Because like- I think it's dangerous. We, yeah, but we're all I think, my, I think it makes it really Everybody's dangerous. complicit in respects of the way that the referees are, they've got their own shows, they're on, they're on co-coms, they've gone blow by blow. You see Mike, Mike Dean on there. They're, the, they're in it, they're part of the entertainment now. Everybody, for the clicks. Look at, look at you, Don, what, what was the show I saw? It was your Tottenham, Tottenham-Chelsea. 
You done the whole first segments on the on the decisions, bro. No, but my point, my point is this is Arsenal Football Club, an institution, one of the Premier League members that actually you know they're partly responsible for the Premier League body and the rules that are in place yeah. and the other things that are in place. You can't just turn on on your own publicly. Yeah. What? They're yeah, in it's the Premier League referees. These these are the Premier League referees. Getting Arsenal it wrong. Premier, Arsenal why, why Premier is, League. Why is this why is this institution what if, people what, not allowed to be criticised? What, what if the Premier? Yeah, girl, what if the PGM? Why can't we critique? Why can't we critique them? What they're, they're yeah, you, it can, wrong. you can. You can. The managers can, the coaches can, the players can, the fans can, the pundits can. But can the clubs come out, an institution like Arsenal and Liverpool, and put things like sporting integrity? We're going to look at our options. We're going to mention replays. We're going to call. To me, that is really dangerous because these are human beings who are you trying don't, to. You don't believe, Gal, that it's more, it's more, it's even more dangerous that we have got an institution where no one can say anything because if you say something, people say, "Oh, you've got to support them." So you can't say anything about that. And if you don't say it, the fans will say to you, well, I just saw what I saw. How can you not call that out? But you, can't, you can't expect the clubs. The clubs want them to be the best but they can it, be, it, but they're not... What if they all start making statements? Every Wolves could have made statements. Exactly. What if they all start making statements? They all make statements publicly. It's, it's bad. Yeah. Do you think it changes anything? No. That's what, that's what no. I think. No. No, at least like, we know how they feel about it. We, we know how they feel. We know how they feel. The yeah, manager's told us how they feel. Why shouldn't they be able to say how they feel about it? It's wrong, gal. We're not going off the... Sorry, Mark. It should be done privately. It should be done privately. It should be done privately. Privately, it shouldn't come out like that in the public domain. It should be done privately between PGMAO, the FA and I, the clubs, personally. I, no, no, no. No, I think that when you get to the... You know what? That's that's fine. But in my opinion, I think you should make yourself heard. The clubs should make themselves heard because some... You know, like Mikel said, and I'll go back to what Mikel said, there's too much at stake. There's too much at stake for the clubs. You know what I mean? You're, what are you going to say? There's not a lot at stake. You I can't know, make these mistakes, gal. You know, the same with the Premier League. They have to have angles. Well, that's like saying we... Well, why don't they have to make statements about the Arsenal manager with Rangers running up and down the sideline and going out of the square? Yeah, but what's... Yeah, but I what, just want to bring that into the conversation. Yeah, yeah, but you can bring in the conversation. I do. But it's, so what? So what if he's changed, if he's more passionate than some other manager? What, are you going to go against Mikel just because he's more passionate and the team are yeah. trying to challenge a team that is so hard to beat? And the pressure's on him. Do you not think, on, though, man. that the focus so much on this one thing? Like, when he's going in them changing rooms, he's not going, oh, the referee's done us over. Is it more like we should have created more chances? We should have... I think the game so, goes yes. on yeah. for 90 that, minutes definitely. and it's like the reason yeah, we lost the something? game yeah, but in, is in because of this of that, one then, decision. Jill, in respect of that, then, Jill, so Arsenal have gone there, not played great, yeah. don't get me wrong, didn't create enough. No. You know, going through a little bit of spell at the minute, but done enough to get a draw, a resilient draw, where you can say, OK, we can build on that. And then you get a goal where you believe that shouldn't have happened against you. Why shouldn't you feel aggrieved by that? No, because that's what happens. I'm happy with them feeling aggrieved and Mikel doing what he did and the players saying what they did. But for the club to come out the day after and question the whole refereeing institution, for me, is really dangerous. But use it, like you said earlier, but when you're a player, you feel people are against you. Use it as a, an energy. Yeah. Right, so some big breaking news this mm. week in the uh, women's game. And Emma Hayes, who has decided that she's going to leave Chelsea. Mm. hasn't been formally announced yet, but we think, we're pretty sure, uh, that she's going to take the US women's job. I mean, that's, a, that's an earthquake in yeah. the women's game, that, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Obviously, Emma's been absolutely incredible. She's built Chelsea kind of from scratch. 11 years of success she's had there. I couldn't even read out all of our accolades. But, yeah, it does look like she's going to go to USA Women. And what a great appointment for them, really. Unbelievable. Yeah, we were working with her a little bit mm -hmm. in um, the summer. But I think, yeah, I think she'll be a great addition in terms of the mindset. And USA have been struggling as well. They need to be. USA are always the team that's in finals, the winning mm -hmm. World Cups, Olympics. And recently, they just kind of she, haven't been at that level. She is the, she's the perfect manager for them yeah. right now. You know, you, you look at what she's done with um, with Chelsea, like you rightly say. You know, she was there when she was... John Terry was, you know what I mean, paying for the for the team to have a season. John Terry's paying he's a, a check himself to, to pay for him. She was the one that went to Abramovich, got them going, got them to where they are. You know, won everything apart from, obviously, the Champions League. And you look at it now and the teams that have gone out, this might be the last, the last chance before she maybe goes there. But, like, the way Emma Hayes is and the, what, what um, the US national team... One in the, is winning. Yeah. Emma Hayes wins. She will win. Mm -hmm. And you know, she's got a, a bunch of players there because they've got some older players who are moving on. She's got a bunch of young players there that she can really do some unbelievable things with. Because let's face it, that women's international game still drives women's football. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, she's at the top end. You know, obviously, it's a great job for her. She'll get paid very, very well, and rightly so. 
Um, I've heard that there's rumours going round that it'll be equal pay as well to what the, the men's men. boss gets. Well, it should so, do because the American yeah. women are, are, are what I know the, the American national team for. It's the yeah. women from 1991, what they were doing. So, Well, that's a massive stepping stone in the women's game as well, yeah. a, a female doing the equivalent of the, the male's job. And if it if it is true, I think that's absolutely great. But what Emma's so good at is building teams and that emotional intelligence. And I think USA will thrive on that. And I think technically they're always a, a little bit behind, but they just have this mindset where they'll get a 90-minute goal, 91. Yeah. So I think she'll also mm. develop that side as well if she does end up there. Is it, I mean, is it a kick in the teeth? I mean, obviously, I know the England women's team have got a very successful coach at this moment in time. But is it a kick in the teeth for English football that she's gone to work for a massive rival, obviously, country? No. Do you not see it that way? Because no. it, 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 it would be, in the men's game, we would see that as a massive loss, wouldn't we? Do you not see it as a massive loss? I would see it as a massive loss in the women's game. Because I remember working with them at the World Cup a few years ago, and I think she had at the time that she didn't think she wouldn't take the England... Uh, women's mm. job and I, I was surprised at that at the time but she's happy to take the US job I think it's the right job for her right now because yeah. like what she you know, you know I mean Roy yeah. in, in respects of what she's done at Chelsea I'm not sure she, and she's walked to the States yeah. before hasn't she? Absolutely. So yeah she's done it she, yeah. you know what I mean she was in the States she was in Chicago yeah yeah you know yeah. what I mean it didn't go quite as well so you think that she's got a little bit of um, unfinished business there but where she is now, you know what I mean, and working with her and speaking to her, I could feel that she needed something. She needs this Timing, challenge. right, isn't yeah. it? Timing's huge. And the thing is, is that, yeah. and the thing with, with the USWNT is, it's a massive, unbelievable yeah. job. Yeah. And oh, I yeah. think that no the doubt. fact that it's come along, and you look at what's going on in the, in the WSL now, you know what I mean, she's dominating it. Yeah. You know what I mean? She may be, uh, for, her, for her own self, but it'd be a big loss to the WSL, won't it? Um, in terms of her as a character and personality. I think, yeah, like she's course, the main yeah. one when you talk about managers, mm. it's, it's always her. Like 11 years, I think she's been there. Mm. But it's going to be difficult. It's going to be like, say, when Alex Ferguson left Man United, yeah. who's going to come in? Yeah. And obviously it's big shoes to yeah. fill, isn't it? And Chelsea yeah. expects success. So I'm putting uh, Roy's name in there. <laughs> Roy, you're going. Yeah. Getting a Chelsea win. I can see That'd you there. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I've got a class to get out of this. They have to buy me out of this deal. You say that though. All joking aside, that's massive. Would you look for that, Jill? I mean, obviously, because you want to get into coaching at some point in the future. You said, didn't you? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, in terms of coaching, but I need to start like my coaching journey. I'd love eventually to have like an assistant role or or something like that. But yeah, obviously, in terms of going straight into management, I would never. I wouldn't be ready. Does it? Does it? I mean, obviously, you think of you think of like Lampard, Gerrard. Some other place. I went straight into a role. It can happen, yeah. can't it? Where you can go straight That's into. That's why a role. you need more time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people don't go. I don't think really go in. It's yeah. not for me. Yeah. I know it's not for me emotionally. Like, look, yeah. you know, we're talking about passion and. I'd be all of that. Yeah. You know what I mean, so it, it's, it's not for me. But the, the thing, just on a serious note, with the Chelsea is that they do need to find a replacement that's going to come and try and pick up them reins. Will it yeah. come from within? I don't Someone, think so. No, because There's step a couple up. of, like, Willie Kirk, who's at Leicester. Um, he's been at Everton. He's a good manager. I also was thinking the other day we had Nick Cushion, who's New York City men's manager. Yeah. And you know, he is unbelievable. I, I'd, I'd probably go more Laura Harvey. Mm, you know, I think she was in for the USWNT. Oh, was she? You know? Yeah. She's at O.L. Reign. She's and done a great job. She's well. done a brilliant job. And I think she's in the final. Mm. Um, she's um, like, was it Old <coughs> Rain and they're playing against, I think it's, it's Gotham. Gotham City. Yeah, yeah. So she's somebody that was up for the the, w, the, the, the women's um, national team. So she's somebody that Chelsea will probably look at, especially if she wins that, then she'll have another challenge that she'll want to go to. So, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Probably, I'd probably go with, with her. It'll be interesting. Yeah, though, won't it? interesting it will be to interesting. see. Well, all the best to Emma. And that is uh, half time in the first part of Seriously? Six, that is half time. It's like a game of VAR. Only a fifty eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's proper overtime so, we're doing it. <laughs> can we please bring in the Super Six predictions board? It's our Super Six section where we predict the results of six Premier League matches. It's me versus Roy with a little help from our friends. And here are the rules. It's five points for predicting the correct scoreline and two points for predicting the correct result. It's going to be competitive. And remember, you can win £250,000 if you guess all six scorelines correctly. 
So here we go. He's smiling at me. No, I think what's... we've done well. Have we done okay? He smiled at me a few times today. So like here it. we go. Like to see you, Roy. Our very own Debbie McGee has come in. <laughs> <laughs> ben. And what we got, Benny? Ben, talk us through the predictions that we did last time we were on this show. Do you want the scores first? Yeah. Please. Yes. So I'll do Gary first. Right. Yes. Gary, you got. 15 points. Oh, oh wow, wow, it's a lot. That's, oh, a, lot of, that's a lot. Smiling, Jesus that's Christ, that's Wait, smiling. Um, that's so, can you tell me what I got right? You got, yeah, you got... got three um, points scores, didn't you? Did he? What, that Man City. Yeah. So, the Man City game... Against who? Against Brighton. You said 3-0 and it was 2-1. Okay. Newcastle 2, Crystal Palace 1. And that was 4-0. Brentford 2-1. But you got all of them right, you see. All the right results. But then Brentford 2-1 against Burnley, that was 3-0. Chelsea won all, and it was two all. You got Sheffield United one, United two. Yeah. So that's that's the big one, isn't it? I mean, seriously, my prediction. Villa two, West Ham nil, and that was four one. So. Right, so what, wow. Yeah, so so every, you, everyone right. Everyone right. Yeah, yeah. And then so you were in the top. Right, everyone right. Top five point three percent of players. Wow. Eh? You got one sec, say that again, Ben. So, so all the results Gary, right, and then the prediction of a score right on oh. one as well. Go on, Gary, say you were top five percent of players. What do you be, mean? You beat over nine hundred and fifty thousand people. In your, the country? Yeah. yeah, but not him. Jamie was with him, wasn't he? Jamie. Was... Yeah, so... Well, we'll, we'll find we'll out now, won't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be fair, though, right, I think just a little bit of appreciation for the back. Yeah, being, no, amazing. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, so that's... You're on... Currently, I'm you're quite on... quite jealous, Gal. Unbelievable. I hate that. I hate oh, that wait, you've done that. I think we got really bad. I think we got... Oh, yeah. Because... It's not so you're on 27. Wow. OK. You were with us last week. No, no, if it's bad, it's you. Roy, you've got bad news for us, haven't you? Well, you're trying, and that's important. So you got you got eight points. Me? No, we. A team of us. <laughs> I only see one name up there. Jill. Yeah. 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 No, I'm on this oh, team. Wow. We're good. Yeah. So you got you got four correct results. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's better than last week. Out of what? Week. Six. Solid. Solid. Oh, man, that's fine. That's good. To be fair, when me and Ian try and help you, you don't listen. You don't so... listen. Get... I'm going to listen this week. Oh. <laughs> so what's so <laughs> point? Yeah. So we got eight points for last week. <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> So you're on 14. Uh, it's not bad. Hey, oh, hey, don't worry. Hey, long way to go. Hey, Spurs over there. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Why? I line up. Hey, don't fall to pieces. <laughs> Easter. Right, here we go. So who wants to go first? Uh, oh, well, they, well, he's winning. He's you winning. two together, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you go first. Yeah. Arsenal, Burnley. Arsenal, Burnley. Yeah. You played for Burnley. You played for fucking Arsenal. Got to be Arsenal. Oh, yeah, big. I'm going big. Are you going big? Yeah, four. Go on, then. I go four. Four nil? nil? Yeah, four nil. Three. I don't think, yeah. Yeah, three. Depending not, if right someone now. gets pushed three. back. I'll go three. three. We're going three now. If Gabriel, to be fair, stays up. If Gabriel goes down again, they might be 4 1. If he defends. If Gabriel goes over again, he might be 4 1. Wow. Who's United? United Luton. Well, um, Do you know, it could be a silly, ugly one. Oh, two or three oh. one. United look at. That could be a draw. Do you want to go? United aren't scoring many goals. But they've got to be. But Luton set pieces. I'm going to say two or three one. I'd, I'd give Luton, from the set I won't give Luton a goal. I'm not giving no? him a goal, no. I'm not giving him a goal. I'll go 3 0 again. Or four, maybe maybe four. United have to... You're not scoring. United yeah, but score. this could be the game. I said that for the last two months. No, we got... This could be Hoyland. This could be Hoyland's like this could be him. I think it, it'll three, go. One. Are we three, three, three one. Let's go three one. one. Three one. Alright. 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 I, I was going I was thinking three one or three two. I was thinking, oh, yeah, Luke, yeah, yeah they, scored, yeah. they're just nervous. Uh, I think Luke going to score. Yeah, I just pieces. think set pieces, little bits of the United sloppy. Will United get three? I think they probably will. Okay. Yeah, the, the pitch is so big, and Luton, to be fair, will find it difficult. I think. You know United quite well, Wolf. I go three two. I think. Three two. Yeah, three two. Wow, not chance. Jesus. They have mad games, don't they, United? Palace Everton. Yeah, it's their turn. Yeah, oh, it's us. That's a difficult one. You never know what's going on. 1 1 written all over that. Bolt be happy. You know what I mean? That could oh, be anything. Yeah. He's winning that one. No. Yeah. Draw? Yeah, I think we go draw. Okay. No? I think we definitely go draw. It's a game that, to be fair, not a lot of people I think about. Right. A few days after it's happened. Draw, I don't want to take it. They both one need one. to. Both, yeah. both one feel one. Like we'll go 1 1. 1 1. That was we were going to go with. Yeah, but you shouted too early, you see. I mean, you still can, Roy. Yeah, that's true enough. Yeah, got the same score. I think someone's winning. I think someone's. Winning. That's almost like defeat is going the same score, and it? it's a bit like. Go on, go the same. I think, I think what someone's going to win. That. One of them is <coughs> winning that. I don't think that's a draw. Especially but who's winning it? You just commentating. Well, I love the cliches that come out. Yeah, someone's probably, probably going to you know win. Everton are winning, there. No, no chance. I'm going to probably go. 
I'd say, I'd say Palace, Palace 2-1. Two, one. Just Palace to be two different. Two, Palace 2-1. Two, two, we need to safe. get points. We yeah. just I think 1-1. One, one. But you're going got, one, no, two one. one. No, 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 no two one. Then if no, 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 no. Two one. You're going to blame me. Yeah, two one. Right. Go bigger, go on. Okay, no, let's do that. Deal with it. Two one. Two one. Palace. But the thing is, I don't like when we haven't got draws. There's no one ever not has draws in their predictions. You've still got three balls. We've got We should have done two two. Should have done two two. Bottom of Newcastle. It's been a tough week for Newcastle. I'd go two two. Can we go two two? Change that. Yeah, this two two. Yeah, two two. Oh, indecision is final. Nice, but a tough week in terms of games. And, played against uh, last play. Uh, I think Newcastle. Uh, uh, Arsenal, it's us, isn't it? Last night, two travelling. Yeah, yeah, I got three. Yeah. three. It's about three days to get to Bournemouth from Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, two nil after been in Europe. Yeah. They'll fly. Two nil. Two nil Newcastle. Yeah. No hesitation. You know what I mean? They've had a busy week. Though. I don't think it'll be two nil. I don't think. I think Bournemouth will jet lag over there. Jesus. Thanks. <laughs> Bournemouth, Bournemouth will score, Jill. Okay. Bournemouth will score. Do you want another draw? I, so bore off. Bore off. Jesus. So boring. Jesus. No, a draw I'll actually is a there. controversial result. Of what this is? One. For Newcastle. Newcastle near the top and Bournemouth near the bottom. <laughs> Newcastle away <laughs> in that game will be dangerous. How do you think I'm Newcastle will? I go 2 2. Go on then, 2 2. Wow. wow. Yeah. That player, he's confident. Look, we're he's top points. of the table. We're look. getting points in this week. Flexing. We're getting points this week. This is now West Ham Forest. That's a hard one. Oh, the, West Ham at home. We think talking about. There's no. Do you not? I think yeah. Away. But don't trust them, do you, West Ham? No. But I think I, I think we got to go with them. Um, go on, go on. We're going for no. West Ham win, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Are you going West Ham win? Oh, yeah, we are. Right, right. We're getting. You think it. they'll get? They'll win. I think they'll score two. Or you think they'll score two? Two nil. I won't go more than two goals for West Ham. Okay. I watched Forest the other day. 2-0 or 2-1? 2-0. To be fair, that was a home day. On the break, yeah. Then on the break, away from home. 2-0 or 2-1? 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. They've been shocking. Forest score. I think 2-1. Forest beat them. Yeah, I think Forest beat them. Do you? I really do. I watched Forest beat them. Do you? I watched Forest beat them. I think Forest beat them. Do you? I really do. What I saw them the other day. I know that Villa weren't great. I'm beating them. Is this No. Yeah. I'm going to go. Yeah, sure, sure. Is that your gut feeling? 3-1 Villa. 3-1 Villa. I'm gonna go no, two one, two one, two one forest, two one forest, two one forest. Yeah, yeah. Come on, concentrate. That won't be right. <laughs> okay. Juice. If that's right, what are you gonna give me? Um, if that I'll, one's right, I'll buy you a new leather get, beret. Can we get a bonus point for a goal scorer? <laughs> <laughs> can we do one? Is it a goal? Can oh, we do Chelsea's like first score? <coughs> oh. First score round. Is that Chelsea? Yeah. I thought it was at City. I reckon Cole Palmer's going. Is it a goal? First score. It's a goal, isn't it? It I'm probably is at Chelsea. I mean, all day, I expect you got it right. Two or three nil or two or three one. Cole Palmer. City all day. I don't think I Chelsea score. You don't think they score? They'll just, just hammer. Chelsea score. Well, two or three nil then. We got two nil, probably. Yeah. Two nil City. Oh. You're going to go more, aren't you? We we'll get excited for these games, and sometimes they're terrible. That's what yeah. I think. Yeah. And, and and to be honest, I think Chelsea will do all right in the game. No chance. Honestly. Are you, are you watching again? Are who's you there? Score? I'm not there. No. But Chelsea. Chelsea. In a couple of games I've seen at Stamford Bridge, they've done all right against big teams. Do you think they could get a draw? Are you jet setting? Are you not been at the game? Are you? No, I'm, I'm not there weekend. All right. <laughs> He's skiing. Gal, what's, talk to me about your result. Come on. I, I, I think Chelsea will do a lot better than you're thinking. They create, but they're not scoring. That's the fact. No, fun. I know, but I tell you what, Jackson, Sterling, Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer will score. I tell you what, they've got a, a sol solidity point. midfield. They're, they're a handful for big clubs at Stamford Bridge. They're not, they're, because they're better than they are, obviously. I mean, they're just a waste of time sometimes in games. But you actually, I've seen them a couple no, we'll of times. Up, then, Liverpool to against win. Arsenal, they were really good. Yeah. Arsenal, they were really good. Liverpool, they were really so good. So you're obviously I'm, going I'm for Chelsea go for... to win then? Yeah. 1 1? Yeah, I got 1 1. OK, 1 1. Absolutely. Bore off. Jesus. What, the fact that Manchester City are dropping points is, is, a, is a bore off? Yeah. I mean, that's you see, athletic. You see, bore, bore off, you oh, went right. 2 0. One. Right, that's the end of this week's episode. Thanks for joining us on another Stick to Football brought to you by Skybet. Thanks to you, Iraiti, Roy and Jill. We've really enjoyed this episode. I hope you have. Please subscribe and send us your questions in for the next week's episode. Well done, good episode that. <laughs>